Hi! <laughs> yeah, you want to see any girl's butt, she's going here. But what you will hear, God, I hope you get mad at this. What you will hear is about how much you failed and everything you've done. What What is your life amounted to? What have you accomplished and what have you succeeded? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Weigh it. Weigh it in the measure, right? You'll be found wanting every single time because you know what? 80, 90, 100% of you, right, are sitting there on your screens all day long, watching your phones all day long. You get mad at me and say I'm judgmental. You can say I'm picking at you. Whatever you want to call me, I don't care. The reality is if you put real work in, you get real success. If you keep putting this fake work in, playing on your phones, playing in these games, in this fake world, this fake reality, this metaverse that we've created around ourselves, this fake matrix, if you don't choose to break it, you're going to have this fake success that's empty, that you're always not having enough, you're just crying, whining, that everybody's not fair to you, until you realize that you have to put in the sweat, that you have to put in the hours, that you have to put in the time, you won't ever change. You won't ever make a difference. You won't ever see the culmination of all the things you were meant to achieve with the talents that you were given at birth we are all given talents none of us is without talents i promise you everyone has a skill but you have chosen not to use it you have chose to abdicate your role because what you think it's more fun to watch women shake their butts on you know tiktok only fans youtube shorts instagram name it you would rather sit there and watch the most basest parts of, re of our reality of our society and feed into that yeah it's been around for a while but guess what it's more on the surface than it has ever been and it's like you are a millionaire you used to is slavery right now that it's so glorified that you're a millionaire if you're a sex worker this is sad this is tragic right that's not something that's supposed to be valuable in the worldly sense where you can sell it for for coin right we shouldn't want to do those things that purity that ability to offer your value to another individual so you can co cooperate for the rest of your life to have somebody there with you that's gone you sold it for money it's like 60 pieces of silver 30 pieces of silver right 30 shekels of silver is, is a lot of money back then. Not a lot today, I understand. But it made him rich. But what it, it, he lost everything. Do you want to be that person? Or do you want to look at your life and have a success that's eternal, abundant? Like, you're not selling yourself. You're not throwing yourself to the wolves in a way that you're... They're feasting upon you, right? God will produce bounty without, without you having to be a prostitute. I don't even want to say it all the way. I mean, you are a worker that sells their bodies, right? Come on. We all know what it is. You can get mad at me all day long. You can sit there in the comments and say, I'm a hater. I don't care. It does not bother me. Truth hurts. It really does hurt. Well, guess what? The reality is you have to die to be new, right? You have to die to the old stuff. All the things that you're attached to, all the things that you think are important, they're not. They're absolutely not. You have caught yourself in an evil matrix right you have tied yourself up in that cave and looked at those inverted shadows for your whole life by choice they've made it appealing of course it's hard to resist an addiction but you have a choice to participate in that addiction look i have a choice of everything i do you might look at me and say mcdonald's shirt what does that mean is he is he that much of a loser he's working at mcdonald's you know what the reality is i work at mcdonald's i probably make more than most of you you know why? Because we live in a capitalist society. We live in a society that if you work hard and you do what you're supposed to, you achieve those things which are necessary. You can be rich being a truck driver. If you're smart about it, you can be rich being a garbage man. If you're smart about it, that's the reality of our world. People people laugh and joke at those kind of workers. Like I, I still remember the Biggie Smalls movie, right? I watched it as a kid. And he, the teacher's like, you're going to be a garbage truck man if you don't focus on school. And he was like, okay, well, how much does a garbage truck driver make? He make 40 k a year. Okay, how much do you make, teacher? Barely 20. Look at that. Even in failure, I succeed more than you. See, this is, a, this is the paradigm of understanding work that might not be appealing could be very beneficial to your life. Super beneficial. You don't understand the things I've learned working the place I've worked at. The skills that I've accrued. Now, of course, I had skills. I'm, I am who I am. I am him. But... The reality is, we can always learn, we can always put ourselves in difficult situations to overcome. If you watch Naruto, you have my guy, he literally says, when I make a challenge, I immediately put an obstacle in front of myself so that even if I fail, I've done something that's put myself even closer to achieving my goal, whether or not I succeed in that moment. That's the reality of how we should all think, period. We should make it difficult on ourselves, and if we succeed, we succeed, but at least we had the learning process, at least we tried, we grinded it out, we gutted it out so that we grow from it and learn and be able to acknowledge our mistakes because guess what too many people have a bad mistake and they live in a culture where they can delete it and then only if they become famous is it brought up and then their whole lives are ruined because guess what they never learned how to deal with a mistake there's plenty of prominent people right now i can't even say their names on here that have made mistakes and they're like yeah i made a mistake and learned from it and got better 
Like I'm not the best photo and video editor, so I'm gonna hire somebody that's gonna take my production level up, right? That's the way that our world needs to think because if we keep getting stagnant, like I'm great, I'm the best that I can be, no one can be better than me at what I am right now, not thinking that I can achieve more and more, well, I mean, you're gonna be stagnant, you're gonna die. Without growth, you're death, period. So, whatever, have a blessed one.